Good morning. It's Monday. I'm a little bit behind again, but I'm not as behind as I was last week. This is Faith from Fireside and Tarot. I hope everyone is well. And it has come time for the work week top and bottom reading. This is just a little snake preview of what your work week might look like. This reading will be good Monday through the end of the day on Friday. I do it by the elements, because the 12 signs of the zodiac wheel are divided up into the four elements, for those of you who don't know. Fire, earth, air, water. Because it is still Aries season, fire will go first, and it's based on your sun sign, and it's general. So, if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Watch through to the end if you feel so inclined. Check your moon rising or Venus sign ratings. I'm not going to twist your arm. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. And if you're a cross-watcher popping into the room, you're welcome here too. Or you can just forget that you saw it all together. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Fire signs. Let's get your cards on the table. Again, this is just a quick sneak peek. I might throw one card on for clarification if i got to throw any cards on at all. And I always say one card, and it, sometimes it ends up being three or four or five. You know, just how it works out sometimes. Alright. Alright, top of the deck. Three of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck. Ten of Wands reversed. foundations coming together but there's still a burden that remains something that hasn't been released okay past page of swords reversed seven of wands reversed eight of cups reversed oh boy that eight of cups reversed is a card of return In the past could have been distant could have been recent I don't know I wasn't there there was a cutoff cut off in communication possibly trying to avoid conflict we're gonna get some clarification on that eight of cups returning to someone or returning from something What's going on right now? Three of Swords, Page of Wands reversed, Four of Wands reversed. Heartbreak, lack of forward movement, doors slamming. Still heartbroken about something, not moving forward with something, that door is still closed. Or the door has recently been shut, about to be shut. You see, the present, that time is fluid. So, that sketch. Three of Swords could have something to do with that Ten of Wands reverse. The thing that still needs to get off your chest. The burden that's still on your back. What's going to happen this week? Star reversed. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Strength in the upright. Okay. Well. The wish won't be fulfilled. The healing won't take place. You're still holding on to the wands. There's a foundation for something new coming. Something abundant. Something wonderful. But you still got that monkey on your back, fire signs.
Wheel of Fortune reversed, the possibility of unfinished business coming to fruition. Oh, hey, what are you? Seven of Pentacles reversed popped out. <coughs> Running out of patience. Something not fruiting. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here? Thanks. Death reversed. In the past, you may have or they have, may have returned to something else. Because that something else hadn't changed, hadn't evolved like they thought it had. They hadn't moved past it. What is the four of wands reversed here? That door may still be closed. That foundation may still be shaky because there's confrontational energy here still. There's still heartbreak. There's a bit of a forward movement because somebody in this situation knows if I go to try to open that door again, it's just going to cause a fight. Y'all going to be right back where you were. That confrontation that you've been that you were avoiding will happen. Why is the star card reversed here? Thanks. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed here? I'll say what I'm thinking in a second, just give me a second. I gotta be sure. That's interesting. That opportunity to heal from something you haven't healed from yet may come up this week, fire sign, but be warned. Obsessions, toxicities, things you tried to disconnect from. This may cause a downward turn of events. I 
You may finally get a chance to release that burden. Why is the strength here for the outcome? Why is strength upright here for the outcome? You got pushed, you flopped out. Hanged man. Acceptance of the situation. This is a huge card of trust and understanding, of finally being able to work together. The lion is wounded and she's trying to heal him. And there's absolutely nothing stopping him from ripping her head off think about that for a second. There's a lot of trust in this card. Somebody this week may finally disconnect from something that was toxic. Come to a realization what the downward events were and something they hadn't quite healed from yet may come back around there's that small seed planted long ago it may finally get a chance to fruit it hasn't been able to fruit yet it may get finally get a chance to release a burden and work with a foundation that was laid wow fire signs that's awesome King of Pentacles reversed and the Emperor reversed. Someone humbling themselves and admitting that they're vulnerable. Aries, your card popped out in the reverse. But it's okay to admit that you're vulnerable. It's okay. I'm not just saying this to Aries, I'm saying this to all fire signs. It's, a, it's okay to humble yourself and admit that you were wrong. That's what I'm hearing right now. I'm going, I haven't had a lot of coffee yet this morning, so I'm just going with what I'm hearing. One more on that. The Empress and the King of Cups. Once you get to that state of being humble and allowing yourself to be vulnerable, and allowing that burden to lift and that foundation to finally be poured king of cups and the empress this may actually grow and love may conquer fire signs that's freaking beautiful love it i love it As soon as I'm done with you guys, I gotta throw my clothes on and go to my bread and butter job. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Earth. Alright, we'll go with the universal deck for the Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn.
two of cups, six of swords. Mm. Making a connection and finally allowing your thoughts to move on. Finally moving on in your head. All right. Crossing the river. In the past, two of swords, lovers reversed, ten of pentacles reversed. Somebody had to make a painful decision. And there was a disconnect and a breakdown in the dream. Possibly a great loss of money. Currently, Six of Cups, Three of Swords, Six of Pentacles reversed. You had great memories with this person, but they brought great heartbreak and things weren't fair and equal. Week full reversed, nine of cups reversed, nine of wands in the upright. A lack of trust, someone of being childish, someone of filling their cups with the right things. Walls are going up or one last, one last battle. Huh. All right. I don't think I need to clarify anything up here. I think all this is pretty self-explanatory. I'll clarify it if I have to. Hair for reverse popped out. This is definitely a disconnect in a blessed union, possibly the breakdown of an engagement. And Taurus, your card popped out in the reverse. Just point that out. King of Swords reverse. Somebody has a horrible attitude. Alright. Why is the full reverse here? Magician reversed. Whatever's going to happen this week. You're not going to trust it. Someone's possibly be trying to be manipulative. Why is the Nine of Cups reversed here? King of Wands reversed. No forward movement. Somebody's coming in trying to be manipulative. You don't trust it. You know damn well they're not going to fill your cups with the right things. So you put the emergency brake on. This is not going to go anywhere. You could be just trying not to fight with this person. This could be a connection that you moved on from. This could be the same connection that broke down up here. You're still heartbroken by it. Yeah, you had great memories, but it wasn't fair and equal. You're still heartbroken by it. Four of Cups in the upright. The universe could be trying to hand you a new connection. 
and you can't see it because you're still looking down at the old one. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Stop looking down at the coulda, woulda, shoulda earth signs. The universe is trying to hand you something new. Look up. Don't look down. Look up. Why is this nine of wands here for the outcome? Four of Swords reversed. Your guard's all up. You're restless. That old heartbreak's coming back again. You're reminded of it. Oh, gosh. Alright, what do you do? What do you do? Top of the deck, bottom of the deck. Three of cups in the upright, eight of swords in the reverse. Try that again. Knight of Pentacles and the world in the reverse. Well, Earth signs. There's a pretty good indication. that this cup over here that the universe is trying to hand you might not be something new. It may be an apology with this Knight of Pentacles. In the world reverse, something coming back around. Crazy. A reunion. Why is the Eight of Swords reversed here? Ten of swords in the upright. Painful cycle closing out. And the sun coming out again. Somebody may be coming back just to... Close an old cycle out. I don't know why the song Closure is going through my head right now. That's pretty crazy. I haven't heard that song in a long time. Okay, Earth signs, that's where you're at. Take it or leave it. May have something returning. You might not want to deal with, but it might be all up in your face this week. Let me know what happens. That was, that was interesting. Okay. Air signs. Yeah, we'll do this one for air signs. The old Bianco Nero deck. Bianco Noir. Black and white, anyway. Air signs are very logical. Everything's very black and white. That's why you guys get this deck. Everything's black and white with you guys. I love it. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's what I love about air signs, and that's what I don't love about air signs. Everything's very black and white. There is no gray area. Whereas fire signs live in the gray area. That's okay, though. My son's an Aquarius.
All right, top and bottom. Two of my best friends are Geminis, and my mother was a Libra. The Hanged Man and the King of Wands reversed. Accepting the fate of the situation and being anti-confrontational or not moving forward. Loss of passion about something. The Tower. The Five of Wands reversed and the King of Swords in the upright in the past. Some shook up. Sudden and abrupt change. Sorry, I just got a weather alert. Just tried to avoid conflict. Somebody had to make a non-emotional decision after a shake-up. Okay. Page of Wands. Two of Swords. Knight of Cups reversed. Communication coming in, possibly from a fire sign. Get some clarity on this Two of Swords. The Knight of Cups cut off in communication. The White Horse has galloped away. Three of Cups, Nine of Pentacles reversed, Six of Swords, oh boy. Another reunion in return. What is it with reunions and returns lately? Someone or something may come back that was a little clingy, a little needy. Turn in the future. Clarity on these two. Five of Cups and the Ace of Cups reversed. Acceptance of a sad situation. No forward movement. The cup's been done, kicked over. It was a shake up. Logical decisions. Impossible decisions. Why is the Page of Wands here? Thank you, Two of Pentacles. <sighs> Communication and attempt to restore balance. Someone possibly trying to keep the boat from sinking? Why is the Knight of Cups reversed here? Six of Cups reversed. Somebody was left with salty feelings because somebody's cup got kicked over. Sudden abrupt change in a relationship. Somebody had to make a logical decision. Why is the three of cups here? The sun. Thank you. Rejoicing. Happiness. Coming back again. Why is the nine of pentacles reversed here? The Hermit. You may find yourself reaching out to someone older and wiser this weekend. This week. This work week. Sorry. It's Monday. For guidance. Reaching out for guidance. Somebody needs to light your lantern. Maybe you'll have a little introspection this weekend. <sighs> 
week. Oh my god. It's Monday. Air signs. It's Monday. Four of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles popped out. Without intention. Twin Flame, Soulmate, Doors Opening, Apologies Coming In Possibly. This may have something to do with this return coming up. And the Six of Swords is here because the Page of Cups, the Five of Swords. Someone's going to come back and try to pick the pieces up. Somebody's going to come back with that small little offer with a cup. They're going to come back with a cup that they kicked over. May I fill your cup up again? I'm sorry, I'm a jerk. Watch out, air signs. Some coming in. May require a little bit of introspection if you want to go back there. <laughs> All right. Water signs. I just got to keep watching the clock, guys. I'm sorry. This card's just gonna take a peek. The moon and the fool. We'll see if they come back out. Playing with the antique anatomy tarot. I don't have the box handy, but cards are very thin. I like the imagery though. It's really super cool. Got yeah, like old pins and rods and screws and medicine bottles, scalpels, it's really awesome. Alright, I think that's good and mixed up. Top. Two swords reversed. Bottom. The strength. Impossible decision you made to harness your strength about. More of the polarities and opposites in a relationship. Four of coins reversed. Page of coins reversed. Star reversed. Okay. Someone holding on to something, something stagnant. No wish fulfillment, lack of healing. Queen of Wands. Nine of Wands reversed. Two of Rods in the upper. It could be a fire sign you're dealing with. I have Leo. Three fire sign cards here right in a row. I also have Air Signs, Aquarius. Earth on the board. And water Signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's coming in. Hierophant reversed. Eight of coins. And the fool. New ventures. New ventures is an outcome. 
I want that Hereford reversed. Why is the Hereford reversed here? Coming up, a disconnect due to a lack of communication, lack of forward movement. The present moment's all about forward movement and strength, but it's also about impossible decisions. Why is the Nine of Rods reversed here? Justice reversed. Queen of Cups reversed. Can't do it anymore. Things are too off balance. There's love loss. You don't feel the way you used to. Why is two of rods here? You want to talk. Four of Cups reversed. You're at the crossroads. You're flat out ignoring what the person's trying to say. You could be ignoring how you feel. Water signs. Why you guys got to kick my butt on a Monday morning? Huh? I see you putting work into other things this week and going on new ventures. <coughs> Temperance and the Eight of Swords. I think this is something that's consumed your thoughts for a while. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Water signs, you may have an emotionally imbalanced week at best. Seven of coins reversed. An impossible decision had to be made. It required a great strength. Probably had to fight off some inner demons with this one. You had to let something go. You had to release some emotions, something you'd been carrying for a while. Why is the Page of Cups reversed here? Something went stagnant. Cut off in communication. Something went stagnant. Why is the star card here? Why is the star card reversed here? Hey! Five of Cups, Knight of Swords. Great sadness. You found out some information you didn't want to find out. Things went stagnant. Maybe as to why things went stagnant. Probably saw some Instagram photos or something brought about a great sadness but you rose up from that 
you found your inner worth. Or you possibly got very confrontational with this person when you did finally start talking. You realize, you know what? I don't want this anymore. This isn't balanced. I don't feel the way I used to. For one's or worse, the tower came tumbling down. putting your work in elsewhere. Water signs, I think you may finally tell them this week why you walked away. Why you stopped talking. Why it disconnected. I think you, this has been burdening you for a while because you never told them why. I think this week you're finally going to tell them why. Nine of Swords, Reverse Magician, Reverse. They may try to manipulate you. They may try to get inside your head. Don't let them. You're off on new ventures. You're not gonna. You're gonna release yourself from the swords this week. You're not gonna get all wrapped up in it anymore. You're gonna allow balance to be restored. Healthy communications, good vibes only. And you're not gonna wait around for them anymore. Ten of Swords and the Queen of Swords. You're going to be honest and straightforward. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Honest and straightforward. The sun is going to shine again. You're going to release this burden. You're going to allow a painful cycle to come to an end. You're going to be done. The Lovers and the Three of Coins. You're going to go off on new ventures new things, make new connections, and lay the foundations for something abundant in your life. Water signs, that's awesome. I'm happy for you. Don't anybody push you around. Don't anybody get inside your head and manipulate you. Don't do that. Don't do that. But, you know, it's your journey, not mine. I should read the cards. Do what you want. Okay, this has been y'all's work week top and bottom. Let me know how it resonates. Sorry, so rushed. I'll be finishing out the cycle tonight and tomorrow. And with the end of Aries season, probably tonight, tomorrow, and Wednesday. And with the end of Aries season, I will start the new cycle for the beginning of May. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I gotta go get ready for my bread and butter job. Take care. Have a great week. Love you to bits. And I'll catch you next time. Shut off.